Well, we've all heard the phrase, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Well, one local woman took that 10 steps further from a midlife career change to the gift of giving. Here's some happy news to share that's changing the lives and hearts of people around the world. Natwi Tran Calix, who goes by Tiffany, is helping people find confidence one wig at a time, changing people's look, which for some, quickly changes their outlook on life. Hair loss is very normal, it's not normalized. So I, that's why I'm, I'm trying to put the word out there that it's, it's okay, you know, there's a lot of women going through the same things. It's estimated that more than 50% of women will experience noticeable hair loss at some point in their lives. Tiffany experienced it firsthand after her third child was born with postpartum hair loss. She owned a salon and found the condition affected her work. I wouldn't want to go to a salon and trust someone who didn't have good hair to do my hair, you know, so I started looking into hair pieces and alternative hair and started wearing different brands. But as a hairdresser, Sir Tiffany was always tweaking the pieces. After a while, she decided she could make her own. She ended up making a wig that made her feel great about herself again. But she wondered if people knew her secret. Well, I finally did like a post and I was like, hey, this is what I'm going through. I had postpartum hair loss. I'm wearing a wig. No one knows. It looks so realistic. Told them about it and everyone was like, oh my God, I can't believe it's a wig. The post was a turning point in Tiffany's life. Requests started pouring in and soon Tiffany had a full-fledged side hustle, making wigs out of her kitchen. It became so much to where I had to decide like, are you going to do this and jump into this not knowing how it's going to be or do you want to stay in the salon and be safe? After 14 years as a hairdresser, 11 owning a salon, Tiffany took a chance and made a life change. She started Wigs by Tiffany. In 2019, Tiffany took her assistant from the salon and started making wigs out of a rented apartment. Now she has a 10 person team and Wigs by Tiffany is in the process of moving into a second studio. This one, 3,500 square feet. Her studio is in Metairie, but her business is global thanks to social media. I mean, they just feel good videos. You know, people always love videos where you you make someone cry happy tears or like you do something heartfelt and things like that. So um, when it went viral, I was like, oh, that's cool. I didn't expect that, but that's cool. I didn't know what a significant difference it would make. Interviews, articles, mentions, Forbes, Fox News, CBS, ABC, The New York Post, People Magazine, shout outs from A-list celebrities like Jennifer Garner, Viola Davis, Michelle Pfeiffer, and Jennifer Love Hewitt have helped grow her social media to nearly half a million followers. I'm just thankful every day. And without my clients, I wouldn't be here. So, you know, I try and give back to them as much as I can too because of everything they've given me. And that's the best part of this story. Tiffany was getting so many requests for wigs for children, a product she didn't even offer. Eventually, she figured out how to make them, but she just didn't feel right selling them to children in need. So she vowed to create and donate five wigs per month, completely free of charge. Along the way, other people have wanted to help and the donations have been generous. The kids stuff has been in the works for about two years. We probably made like 150 or 200 wigs for free. This is Clara, a child with Down syndrome who suffers from alopecia areata. The 10 year old is nonverbal, but you can see the excitement. It reminds you to pay attention to people and what they're saying without saying anything. Tiffany has also started a college scholarship for people in the hair loss world, offering a $10,000 scholarship twice a year. She'll pick the first recipient this month. If you give and you give and you give, you get back so much more. And it's true. I mean, I'm living it now. That advice came from her parents. They came um, like during the Vietnam War and all that stuff, the fall of Saigon. They came with nothing in their pockets. Um, my dad was, I think his first job was like picking mushrooms or something like that. So they came with nothing and they, they grew a business on their own. They owned a convenience store, saved them enough money to open that, had that for 30 years. We grew up in that store. And so we know that money doesn't come from nothing. We know the value of working and, um, and giving. What a legacy to pass down. Imagine the ripple effect. And Wigs by Tiffany sells about 60 wigs a week. Nine out of 10 clients have medical related hair loss. And Tiffany does host pop-up shops around the country. Get this though, they actually cost her money. Her and her team go do it for the client experience aspect. The participants meet other people going through those same obstacles and that network they gain is absolutely priceless. You know, and so often on the news, we have stories about people doing bad things. When you see a story like this, it just restores your, your faith in humanity. And her generosity is just yeah, never ending. Yeah, that's, that's just great. By the way, her wigs are beautiful. Yeah, and there is a GoFundMe if you want to help donate. Um, she, she pays for those five wigs, even with all these donations that have started pouring in with so much national attention. Yeah. She still pays for the five a month out of her own pocket, but you can donate and she'll make more. All right, good for her.